Hey guys, I'm back. This is my Jennifer Lopez on the floor makeup tutorial. It's like your classic smoky eye, except it has like this really pretty doll feature to it because of the lashes. She is wearing top and bottom lashes in the video and I didn't have any spiky bottom lashes. So just regular false eyelashes like these. And I just cut off like every other hair just to give it that really spiky effect. It's like classic JLo with a really contoured face. Oh, smoky brown eyes and nude lips. It's the perfect look for something like prom, semi-formal, or clubbing. And yeah, go check out the music video so you can see this look. Um, there's actually two looks in it, but this one is the more wearable look. And Jennifer Lopez looks like she hasn't aged at all. Like she still looks like she did like 10 years ago. And when I was in high school, like grade 9 and 10, her album on the 6 was really really popular and I was in dance. I did dance in high school and it was like like everyone did Jennifer Lopez songs. It makes me feel really old reminiscing about that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna make this eye look like this eye. And for the shadows, I'm just gonna stick to my Coastal Sensity Warm Palette. So for the browns, it's like a really soft shimmery brown in the middle and then it terminates into this really shady crease, a little darker crease. And first I'm going to take my, just a flat large shader brush and I'm gonna dip it into this color right here. Just going to apply it to the entire lid. And that will be pretty much our base color. And you can add more if you feel like the color is falling out as you're going on. So we're gonna go into the darker colors. Um, I'm just gonna use this color in right here at the bottom. Gonna go in with my 217 brush from MAC. And get a circle here and then bring it up. Okay, so for JLo, when she casts her eyes down, I can see that she has like a really light color on the lid and then a darker color in the crease. And that's what we're gonna do. I know it just doesn't look exactly like it because I have less eyelid space to play with. But yeah, that's the basic idea. So if you have like really large eyelids, then it'll work well too. And I also noticed that her eyeshadow like terminates into a cat eye almost and I tried that but it didn't look very good on me so you can do that if you want to. A color called Espresso by Makeup Designery and MUD. MAC has the pretty much the exact same eyeshadow. It's called Espresso 2 and it's pretty much the same shade. They're both matte browns so I'm just going to take some and add it to my crease. Makeup Designery 800 brush. It's just a regular crease brush, and I'm gonna use. Oopsies. I'm gonna use this color. Just to blend it out. Oh, and for the bottom liner, I know she has like a lot of bottom shadows going on. Um, I'm gonna take a pencil brush from MAC, I'm gonna dip it into the espresso again. And just trace it gently along the lash line and stop right at the tear duct. So stop right here, about a centimeter away from the inner corner. And I'm going to take this NYX black color and I'm going to trace it along too. into the upper lash line. Okay, and I'm gonna take my Sephora Flashy Liner Waterproof in black. And I'm just gonna wa uh, line the waterline and the I'm gonna do some tight lining. Take my Coastal Sense Warm Palette. 
I'm using this white color right here. I'm just going to dip my ring finger in it. And I'm just going to highlight here. Because it's just a pretty noticeable highlight. So that's why I'm using my ring finger as opposed to a pencil brush or a Q-tip. Right under the brow. Because she's very shimmery in that video. False eyelashes. Um, the false eyelashes I used are these ones. I got like a bunch of them for a really good price and they're like the cheapest eyelashes I've ever seen or bought. Um, you pretty much get what you pay for. They're just made of nylon. They're not made of real human hair but they do a pretty good job. And I'm just going to use these and I'm going to use these ones as well. What I did is because like for the bottom lashes I didn't have really spiky ones so I just took a strip like this and then I just cut off every other um I just snipped some of it off just to get a spiky effect and for the bottom lashes remember to apply concave so notice the shape of the eyelashes are going like this and that's how you how you would apply it because your eyelashes at the bottom they grow out like this and then the eyelashes at the top grow out like that <laughs> so apply your eye false eyelashes accordingly for bottom lashes make sure you do not touch the waterline or else your eyes will get irritated so yeah make sure it's on at least like the lash line that's pretty as high as you can and for the bronzer i'm going to use makeup designery in endless summer the bronzer I'm going to add MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle just to the tops. So for the lips, I'm going to use this little color right here. Glamour Geo 1 by Sephora. It's just to add a touch of pink. And top that off with Attract. Um, it's the Rimmel Volume Boost Lip Color. It's pretty cheap. It's from the drugstore. It has collagen in it, but it makes your lips super shiny. So yeah, that's the completed Jennifer Lopez on the floor look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye. Oh, and to all my fellow university students, have fun with the rest of school and good luck on your exams. Bye.